Hey guys, Devin here with Admiral Off-Road, and today we're taking the doors off the Jeep. Let's get started. Step one in taking the doors off is going to be uh, removing this little switch right here. Uh, this is the switch that uh, tells your lights when to come on. When the door is open, the lights come on. When the door is closed, the lights come off. Since we're going to be driving with the doors off and we don't want to be jumping the Jeep all the time, we're going to take a 15 millimeter wrench and go ahead and take this out. Pull it out and then all we're going to do is unplug it from its socket. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this pin that holds our door helper onto our door. Uh, we're not going to be able to take it off if we still have this attached. So we're just going to uh, take a hammer and drive this pin through. Next thing we're going to do is take the uh, trim off the bottom and the kick panel here. Uh, this is how we're going to get to the wires. If you have uh, power windows, locks, uh, mirrors, uh, speakers, anything like that, there's going to be uh, wires going from the Jeep to the door. Uh, so we're going to have to take off the, again, the kick panel and the trim. I'm going to use a stubby uh, screwdriver, Phillips head. It just gets, it's a lot easier to get in between the seat and the trim if you have a little stubby one. So we got all the uh, electrical connections off on the driver's side here. Uh, there's three of them on the driver's side and four on the passenger side if you have all power options. Uh, the one on the driver's side has some weird clips, so you're going to have to use a flathead screwdriver to pry them off. Uh, the ones on the passenger side are much easier. Now that we've got them undone, we have to be able to pull them through uh, the door. So I'm going to grab this rubber grommet here, and I'm going to pull off this hose. Uh, now that we have the rubber hose off, we're going to be able to pull all of our wires through this, uh, through this hole. There's also a uh, rubber grommet on the back that you're going to have to squeeze through. You can kind of push that through either with a screwdriver or with your fingers. So we're able to pull all the wires out through the frame. Uh, the next step is kind of an optional one. You can either cut the, uh, cut the hinges while they're still on the vehicle, or like what we're going to do is we're just going to take the door off of the hinges first and then do the cutting. Uh, if you are going to take the hinges off of the door, make sure you mark them first. So we're going to mark the hinge on the shim and the shim on the door. So make sure you know the location of all three because they need to be in the exact same place or else your door isn't going to line up again. Uh, if you're going to take your hinges off, you're going to need a T40 Torx fit to do that. Make sure while you're doing this, you have something holding up this door. Right now I have my tire underneath it. So we've got the door off the hinges now. Uh, that's definitely a two-person job. Make sure you have one person hold the door and the other person unscrew it. Um, now we've got the doors off the hinge. We're going to cut the hinges from the body. So there's one pin that holds it in, and that's what we're going to be cutting now. So when you go to cut off your uh, door hinges, you can do it a couple different ways. I've heard of people doing it with a, a Dremel tool and a cutoff wheel, um, but we have uh, a, a plasma cutter, and we have more plasma cutters than we do patients. So uh, we're going to do a plasma cutter to cut off the hinges. Before you do any welding or plasma cutting on your vehicle, though, you want to make sure to disconnect your battery. Now we're doing this the easy way, plasma cutting the bolts off. Done. Now that we have the hinges off of the door, we're going to drill them out with a 3 8 inch drill bit. So we've got the holes drilled now in for our uh, pins. I also made sure to make a T for the top one and a B on the bottom so I know which uh, bracket goes where. Uh, we're going to put them back on the doors now and we'll be ready to put our pins in and we can take the doors on and off now. So we've got our holes drilled. We put our hinges back on the door and uh, we found that the bottom pin is able to slide in just fine. So I can slide that in there. But the top pin is uh, having some clearance issues. So we're going to have to take a hammer and just push this corner out just a little bit to give us enough room to slide our top pin all the way to the bottom. I can get it in on the top, but it just doesn't have enough room quite to get to the bottom there. So we're going to give it a little love with the hammer, and that should fit perfectly. Now 
Now that we've bent out that little corner there, we can slide in our pin nice and easy, and we can hold our doors on. So I know somebody's going to ask about the plasma cutter that we used. So here it is. It's a Eastwood VersaCut. It's a 220. Uh, we used uh, about 30 amps and 60 PSI, and it cut right through it. Now that we've got our hinges drilled out to the proper size, again, that's 3 eighths of an inch, uh, we're going to put them back on the door. So we want to make sure we're using the uh, correct one. So this was my top hinge and my top shim. And they have to go in the exact same way uh, that they came out. So luckily I outlined it so I know where they go. And now I can put them back in. Line, that line's up there. So I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I can see that my shim my uh, hinge and the door all line up exactly the way I took them off. So should be able to open and close no problem. So I've got the hinge put back on. I've got the proper holes drilled in them. And what I've got, if I want to ever put the doors back on the Jeep, what I have are these pins right here. These pins are what are going to allow me to either put the doors on the Jeep. I just slide the pins in there or pull the pins and I can take the doors off of the Jeep. So it makes it nice and easy. So you just line the, uh, the hinges up, drop the pins in, and you got the doors back on the Jeep. I want to show you guys a close-up shot of uh, the pins in action. You can see it got the doors back on and the pins holding them in. And give a huge shout out to No Door XJ on Instagram. Uh, those are the people that I got the pins from, and without them, this whole project wouldn't have been possible. If you guys want to order yourself a set of pins, again, you can check out No Door XJ on Instagram. That's capital N O D O O R X J on Instagram. Or if you don't have an Instagram, you can call them up at seven three two. Two three nine six two nine one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Here's the end result. We're able to take the doors off the Cherokee. You can take the rear doors off the same way as we did the front. Uh, if you want to put them back on, though, if you daily drive your Jeep like I do, uh, you're going to need a set of these door pins. This is for the 97 and up Cherokees. Uh, this is what's going to allow us to put our doors back on and take them off quickly. Uh, another big shout out to my dad for helping me out with the plasma cutting. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go and leave them down below. And if you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. Thanks.